Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video and a brand new series kicking off on this channel and um, it is called in football this week it's all the news top stories that's gone on in football this past week um, it's not all the top league some is a bit low, lower down so I'll try to cover your club as well as the top clubs and um, it's just 10 bits of views that has happened in this week so guys without any further ado subscribe for more thanks for watching and let's go now my first bit of news is that Blackpool signed Michael Nottingham from Salford City on a two year contract now I've seen this defender play um, I see what he likes to do um, in his spare time I think Blackpool got a good sign in there uh, I think he's about 29 years old um, but anyway good luck Michael uh, if you're one of the players that does deserve to play in the football league so good luck to you um, anyway my second bit of news is that Steve McCowan is a manager of QPR um, now me personally if I was a QPR fan I'm not sure how I would take this um, I thought Ian Holloway is doing a great job at um, QPR but obviously the ball thought otherwise let me know what you think about that um, QPR fans uh, I'm interested to know put it down in the comments below um, but anyway good luck to Steve McCowan uh, let's just see what happens um, big news for Sunderland I suppose they've had a 40 million pound takeover uh, obviously a new chairman in now um, I've heard it's changing a lot upstairs now Sunderland to be a club like they are uh, I think League One's way too low for their sort of expertise um, back to back relegations um, I think they desperately do need to get back in the championship and hopefully not drop to League Two you drop in League 2 then I think you're basically facing the Brighton nearly um, in that kind of steps of we nearly fell out the Football League but anyway good luck to you Sunderland uh, my fourth bit of news is that Harry Kane was named captain for England for the World Cup now I'm not sure how to take this personally whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, I think the only trouble is how's the captain gonna say what he needs to say to the back line when he's down in front. That's why if I was choosing a captain, I would rather have Jordan Henderson in there because he's a midfielder, he has to go back and forward. Obviously, a midfielder does that, so that's one reason why I would have choose Jordan Henderson over Harry Kane. No disrespect to Harry Kane. And um, also, I'm going to the England, Nigeria. Excuse me. Um, England, Nigeria friendly at Wembley, and there will be a vlog up on this up on this channel. So make sure you don't miss that. Um, I will be per my own point of views on it as the game's going on, as well as uh, keep you up to date with the game. Um, Pellegrini has been named West Ham manager now yet again I don't know quite how to take this West Ham fans please put your thoughts down below um, I thought David Moyes was the right man to take you forward uh, obviously I know a lot of your problems are higher up uh, and at the manager itself it's more like your board level um, but I think Pellegrini seven million a year he's earning I think that's a bit way too less for 
for a couple of your standard. Um, but I don't think he's going to get control like most of you want. So, anyway, that's going to be an interesting season. Especially for me from a neutral pan neutral football fan point of view and uh, obviously West Ham fans point of view the only reason I'm not sure about this appointment is because I know if you start losing games you're going to be aimed at the board again um, but it's going to be an interesting season from a West Ham point of view so good luck to you um, Santi Casola has been released by Arsenal uh, after I think it's about five years at the club, Arsenal decided to release him. Um, I don't know where he's off to yet, but good luck to you, Sonny Casola. And also, Arsenal got a new manager in, which I'll get to in a bit. Um, Bristol Rovers signed Ed Upson from MK Dons. Now, not personally knowing the player, but. Uh, if he's going up like that sort of level, uh, good luck to you. Good luck to uh, Bristol Rovers. Good luck to MK Dons as well. I actually did go to MK Dons when I was back in the Championship. Nice ground. Uh, far too low, far as I'm concerned, for a stadium of that calibre. Um, my eighth bit of news is that Sheffield United manager signed a contract extension. Um, now obviously he's doing a great job at Sheffield United. Um, very unfor very uh, unfortunate to not reach the playoffs. Uh, yet again, I just think it's that middle season you just dipped a bit. Um, which obviously if you want to get into the playoffs, into the top two, so that's where you really do need to start on form. Um, my nice bit of news is that Gary Routlett, which is why he's on my uh, fun now, um, is now manager of Stoke uh, on a three year contract. Now, Stoke got to pay 1.8 million in compensation to Derby County, uh, obviously contract release clause and everything else. Now, on a Gary Routlett point of view, I would not have gone no disrespect Stoke, I, if, I reckon if he stayed at Derby, I reckon they would be looking possibly top two next season. Uh, obviously now you've got, a new, you've got to get a new man in, change the squad around. I think it's a bit unclear whether you're going to get to the playoffs again. Sorry Derby fans, I just think Gary Rattler was your man. If I was a Derby chairman I wouldn't let him speak to Stoke, but anyway he's gone. To Stoke, and obviously Arsenal's big news. Uve um, has got the new Arsenal job now. With the with the new Arsenal job, obviously comes huge responsibility, um, and obviously that's what the Arsenal fans wanted. Uh, now, with a man like that coming in. Bit like the players with, uh, for instance, Paul Pogba played brilliant in, in Italy. I ain't quite got the game over here uh, from a personal perspective. Some of you might disagree, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, but yeah, 10 big stories that's broke this week. Uh, 10 big developments change things. Especially like Harry Kane being captain, uh, Pellegrini coming into West Ham. So, you know, it's going to be an interesting season already. Um, but, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and ciao for now.